क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज मैच द फॉलोइंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द मोबाइल कंप्यूटिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज इन लिस्ट वन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मोबाइल कंप्यूटिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज आ दया एंड फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट देयर फंक्शनैलिटी अबाउट देयर डेफिनेशन अबाउट देयर वर्किंग वन बाय वन एंड देन वी विल कम बैक टू आवर क्वेश्चन ओके सो द फर्स्ट टेक्नोलॉजी वी इज जी एस एन and the enhancement of gsm is gprs after the gps gprs is launched edge was launched and edge is the enhancement of gpr service and uh, enhancement of edge technology is um ts okay so they are just the enhanced version of gsm okay uh gsm the full form of gsm is global system for mobile communication okay it was launched in uh, early 90s and uh, gsm is the standard agent of 2g technology okay 2g technology and uh, gsm uh, provides so many features and the one of the most popular feature that was provided by gsm is sms or you can say text messages okay and uh, it provides the capability to download any content from the service provider and the contents like uh, you know uh, ringtones logos or pictures so all these contents we can able to download from our mobile phones and uh, but the rate of uh, data communications is is slow and just because of this drawback we came up with the enhanced version of gsm okay and uh, gs uh, gprs full form is general packet radio service and uh, it is a uh, it is a wireless service gprs is a wireless service that that offers mobile data in a faster speed okay and uh, it also provides so many features and the most popular features provided by gprs is m m s okay as we already discussed that gprs is the enhanced version or we can say upgrade over the basic features of gsm so uh, the uh, features provided uh, by gsm is sms and mms is the enhanced version of mms in sms we can only text message but in mms we can add uh, we can uh, text message but plus we uh, can send or we can attach with the message uh, any uh, picture video uh, sound clip and all okay after the completion of gprs edge technology was launched and edge 
technology is the enhanced version of GPRS. Okay, and the full form of edge technology is enhanced data rate, enhanced data rate for GSM evolution for GSM evolution. It is an enhanced version of GPRS and uh, it uses 3G radio technology. Okay, in GSM we use 2G technology, but in edge technology we use 3D radio technology. Okay. And uh, Edge gives the users the unique chance to increase the throughput capacity and data speeds at least three or four higher to GPRS. Okay, so GPRS provide higher speed than GSM and uh, Edge provides higher speed or increase the throughput of uh, you know the uh, uh, mobile communications higher than. Uh, three or four times more than to GPRS. Okay, edge will increase increase data rate uh, three or four times higher higher than GPRS with the help of with the help of new modulation and coding scheme and coding scheme different different coding scheme is used and uh, different error correction method also used in this technology uh, then umts technology was launched and uh, the full form of this uh, technology is universal mobile telecommunication system mobile telecommunication system UMTS is the enhanced version of edge technology and uh, UMTS is the latest com commercial available technique technology that mobile phones using today okay so it is the latest commercial technology that are used by mobile phones nowadays that are used by mobile phones nowadays with this development of internet access video calling or messages are now uh, possible with tra traditional phone phone calls okay and uh, that av availability is provided by umts okay so the new technologies we can able to use with the old or traditional phone calls also it, it is now possible okay so now we will come back to our question gprs gprs is a emerging wireless service that offers a mobile data in a very faster speed as compared to gsm so we match gprs with this gsm gsm is just an integrated digital radio standard okay uses 2g technology umts is a 3g wireless mobile telecom technology as we already discussed edge uh, is uh, increased data rate of GPRS and with the help of uh, 
different different modulations and different schemes of modulations and use it coding schemes and uh, error corrections also there in uh, edge technology so we match with this okay so the correct answer of this question is question option b okay so the question number 27 is object request broker orb is first is a software program that runs on uh, the client as well as on the application server second is a software program that runs on the client side only okay and the option third is a software programs that runs on the application server where most of the components reside okay so the orb basically the orb is middleware it works like a middleware in distributed computing uses corba okay so it just a uh, orb is a orb works like a middleware okay like a agent you can say okay like it's a middleware in distributed computing in distributed computing and the orbit and the sorry and orb take care of take care of all the details all the details involved in involved in routing a request from client to object from client to object and routing the and routing the response to its destination and routing the response to its destination okay so orb works like a middleware in between the client or even server and uh, whenever client request for any object okay it's it involves all the details in uh, use in routing and uh, whenever we get the response from the server side it also routes route all the information all the response information or all, all the details stored in it and uh, orb orb runs on client side as well as server side okay the usage of orb is on both sides okay on client side orb offers number of services like it provides client with interface to the orb and object implementation one of the one of the interface that was provided by orb is dynamic invocations and uh, this uh, interface allow any request at runtime so we can request for any object at runtime also and uh, orb is also useful uh, at server side and uh, at server side or uh, it also offers number of services orb deactivates uh, inactive objects and reactivates them whenever a request come in so i'm starting it it provides orb provide provides number of services on the both side 
on the both sides at client side it provides it provides interface interface like um, example dynamic this is one of the interface dynamic invocation this interface is allow request at any runtime okay allow request at runtime okay and uh, at server side ORB deactivates any um, inactive object object and reactivates them whenever a request coming okay whenever a request comes in from the client side okay so ORB a software program that runs on the client as well as on the application server this option is absolutely true a software program that runs on the client side only no it also use or run on the client on the server side also a software program that runs on the application server where the most of the uh, components reside this option is also uh, wrong because it also run on uh, client side okay so the option one is uh, is the only option which is correct so the correct answer is d okay move to the next question okay question number 28 question number 28 is a software agent is defined as a software developed for accomplishing a given task options two is a computer program which is capable of acting on behalf of the user in order to accomplish a given computational task okay and the option third is an open source software for accomplishing a given task okay so basically a software agent in uh, artificial intelligence is defined as a computer program um, which is capable of acting on behalf of users in order to accomplish a given task okay so computer agent in artificial intelligence defined as a computer program which is capable of acting on behalf of the user in order to accomplish a given computation task that was given okay so the option number b is the only option which is correct according to the definition of software agent okay now then uh, question number 29 match the following list two no, list one is the classification clustering feature extraction feature selections and in the place two there are some algorithms are given okay so one by one we discussed about that so first is classification first one is classification Um, in machine learning classification is the problem of identifying which set of uh, category a new observation belongs to okay and uh, so in uh, pattern recognition the k nearest neighbor algo this is algorithm a k nearest neighbor algorithm which is used in uh, pattern recognition pattern recognition 
so in pattern recognition we use the k nearest uh, neighbor algorithms we also uh, known as knn okay k uh, k nearest neighbor algorithm and uh, it is a non parametric method which is used for the classification and regression regression means uh, estimating the relationship between the uh, different different variables okay so uh, with the help of uh, this algorithm we can classify or uh, uh, and find out the estimate relationship between the different uh, variables so for that we use this uh, algorithm in a pattern recognition okay the, so the next one is clustering clustering uh, clustering is the mm, popular method and uh, it is also known as the cluster analysis in data mining in data mining we use this uh, method and uh, and the algorithm which is used is uh, k means okay and the aim of this uh, algorithm is to partition n observations into n observations they was there and we cluster them into uh, k uh, time different different uh, k clusters okay and in each observations belong to the cluster with the nearest mean so we uh, apply nearest mean algorithm on this different different clusters so the clustering is uh, used in uh, this k means algorithm the next is feature extra extraction feature extraction uses a uh, principal component analysis so what is that principal component analysis is used for face recognition technique for uh, feature identification in large sets and to highlight uh, their similarities and differences is more essential step in face recognition so uh, feature extraction uh, is used in uh, face recognition and for for that we use uh, pca it's a pca and uh, this one is used for the face recognition technique okay the next one is feature selection feature selection for feature selection we use branch and bound algorithms that is used to find uh, optimal features subset without uh, dealing with all possible sets okay so the correct answer of this question is uh, i think uh, one clustering is uh, fourth so this is a c so, so, so the correct answer of this uh, question is c okay so the next question is set set an open encryption and security specification model that is designed for protecting credit cards transactions on internet stand for okay uh, so the full form of set is secure electronic transaction secure electronic transaction and it is a security protocol set is a security protocol that enabled users that enabled users to use their to use their credit cards credit cards on an open network on an open network like internet okay so the set is secure electronic transaction